Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect. I take it this run is going pretty well so far because, uh, I don't know. I, nobody's really gotten mad at me in the first two parts, so that's a good sign. Uh, I don't know, who the fuck is this? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You can make up for it on this tour of duty. Yes, sir. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus Drive Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well-balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Alright, well. Is there the Miranda cum stains here? No? Alright, okay. I guess not. I guess we'll go down to the uh, lower part of the ship. Where we uh, have additional cum stains where we fuck Jack, I guess. Uh, it is also sovereign uh, at that, that as well. Uh, I remember this time. The fuck is this? Dude, there's a rat on the ship. No, it's a space hamster. What the fuck? All right, fine. We got we just got ourselves a space hamster and a shadow broker model. What is with these all all these models? And so one guy got mad at me cuz they changed the FOV and then made fun of the game. He's like, "You fucking did this to yourself." I'm like, "I know I did this." Yeah, I don't think he's that mad though. I like I like to exaggerate things. It makes things sound more interesting. The fuck? What do you go on top of here? It's like a pipe here. Nice. All right, so now we have this part of the ship. Oh shit! Okay, dude, this is not me anymore. Can't you can't blame me anymore. It's now the game. Oh, that's the pipes actually, so it's fine. Weird camera angle. Fuck now. All right. This is um. Fuck that guy. I don't know. Let's go look at the weapon bench. Okay, so I've unlocked all the weapons that are actually DLC related. Apparently they weren't unlocked before. So we can have the N7 Valiant. The Mantis. Uh, the Indra. Yeah, this, this is a rapid fire sniper. 
Or a medium range sniper, fuck that shit. And we have the Crysy. Uh -huh. And then we have the harpoon gun. I think we're gonna take the harpoon gun. It has slightly more weight. I don't I don't really know like if this is actually any good, but I don't know. We'll see. So I have the concentration mod, which apparently um perception it goes up a little bit. Apparently that matters. I don't know. Um we can kind of do the damage mod. So there we go. We have our damage up to maximum. Um, in addition, I think we have... Uh, there's a weapon that someone was saying. Yeah, this one. The Crusader. I wonder if there's any like really light shotguns. Just curious. I don't, why are they all so fucking heavy? Whatever. So here's the N7 Crusader. Uh, which was re highly requested. Uh, pierce bullets and increases damage. Well, I guess we gotta do that. So we can have that. And then we have uh, a bunch of weapons here. N7 Hurricane. The Geth Plasma Pistol SMG-1. And the Blood Pack Punisher. I guess we'll try this one. The thing is, our weight is like completely maxed, so maybe we should not do that. I, I was never a fan of the SMGs to begin with, so... Executioner. Uh, that one has a lot of damage, actually. Is it actually is the game fine with me actually having this? But look at the fucking recharge speed, though. Like maybe we should just take the lightest pistol we have. I don't know. This is this is the one thing that the SMGs are sort of good at, especially because I got that one modification that lowers the weight. Maybe we should do something like this. I guess we can't do anything else with this. Maybe we should do something like this, you know? That's it. Just have the SMG just in case as a backup weapon. I, I have no qualms with backup weapons. Uh, and now we have uh, a couple more weapons here. Uh, if we want to upgrade them. Question is, I haven't really done much with these at all. So I don't really know like what's going to be like a good endgame weapon for me. Like, that's, that's the main problem. Yeah, like, look, they have the Typhoon 2. Was the Typhoon the thing? I, no, no, I had the Harpoon gun. Like, I don't, I don't know what I like yet, you know? So I don't really want to be spending my money on this, so we're not going to do that. Uh, there's also the procurement interface. So this is, like, Medjil capacity, flowers, books. Okay, we're not reading books. These, these actually sound okay. Sniper rifle, spare thermal clip capacity. I mean, you could do worse than that. Oh, they also have more weapons here. Fuck. Yeah, they actually have the exact same weapons here. 10% markup, because it's remote access. Alright. I mean, I don't know. And here's the Spectre Requisitions, uh, which I cannot have yet. I feel like I should maybe save for the, uh, uh, the other stuff. I think I also have more armor now. Do I have more armor? No, it's the same ones. Maybe I have more here, though. No, the exact same. So the armors were fine. It was just the weapons that weren't showing up. All right. Oh, whatever, Cortez. Let's talk to you. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios, straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega. Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident, 
practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, you had a husband. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. Only a Lear can get this dick. So, we're not touching that. Sorry. Lear would be heartbroken. She's a Shadowbrook if she would know. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you down here for a reason? <clears throat> it's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? <laughs> oh god, this part. This is the fucking worst, man. I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy him. I chose the intel. Tough choice. But it was the right call. You think so? I would have done the same. That's what's funny. You were doing the same thing. You took out the collectors. We never needed that intel. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You're a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? 
Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! <clears throat> Good to hear it. But you sacrifice yourself, or my ship, needlessly? That's unacceptable. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, loco. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? Your ship, your rules. Your loss. Sucker. Alright. Now that part bothers me slightly, because fucking. <laughs> Alright. Shepard is not as buff as that. And dude, if if you actually were in a fist fight with some fucking guy like that, like holy shit, those those fists are fucking like weapons of mass destruction, I swear. Dude, that's some serious roidage, let me just say. Anyways. Or, or, okay, no, maybe he lives a lot, I don't know, fuck, whatever. But, the thing that bothers me about this whole situation is if you play as Femshep, for some reason, in the Femshep in this game, I, I think in most games, it is not particularly buff at all. Like, women can look buff, and they decided for hers that she'd have, like, fucking basically noodle arms, right? And so, you can actually look it up on YouTube. They do this same fight in engagement, and there's, like, Femshep actually fucking holding her own with, like, as I said, these fucking noodle arms. And I'm like, what? Dude, just, just make her look a little bit buff. Like, it's not unreasonable. Like, fucking, like, leader of the fucking galaxy or whatever, fighting the Reapers. You know, probably you're a little bit fit. But nope, noodle arms, apparently. I mean, I, I wouldn't even I, I wouldn't even care for that much if she was like you know fucking like a little bit roided out. I don't give a fuck. Like it would it would make sense maybe like especially with the 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 fact that this is like in the future or something you know maybe they have like you know I don't care or something I don't know. Let's not get too much into the politics of it, but you know I'm just saying you know holy shit these people could have thicker arms. And yes, I did just criticize the game for. Making people not look very fit. Oh, wait, I don't want to go up here. Uh, Alright, so here's the question. What do we do now? Um, so, I have a rough idea of the order that we want to do things in. Um, Alright, here we go. Yeah, so I have this all now. It wasn't enabled before. But now it's enabled. So it's all good. Oh my god. Oh my god, Lyra. Welcome back, Gift. Is there, like, a... Mark all is unread? I guess not. They're, I guess they didn't port that over. Well, hopefully I don't have to go to the fucking war room every time. Cluster is already conquered by the Reapers, can still be accessed using Normandy's stealth drive. Alright, so... Uh, that's the Cerberus lab. So I guess I can't get over there right now. I was kind of hoping to do that first. Holy shit, there's Reapers everywhere. All right, fine. Let's let's see if we can stealth over to the fucking guys. Also, maybe I should have saved it before we start this whole adventure. All right, so we have a new and improved scanning pulse that detects objects of interest, uses to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, fuel, and fly as you're flying around the system. Mirror every time a pulse is used, there's a chance that the Reapers will enter the system. Uh, to investigate is increased. If a rigor enters the system, you're in flee and wait until you've completed a mission before returning. I'm gonna just go here and save. Okay, I guess it saves it for myself. Alright. I found something. Alright. Ah, here we go. So now that this is the new system that they have. How does this work? Uh, I guess we go this way. I mean, it's not as bad as the other planet scanning. There you go. That it? What? Lost and found. Javelin missile launchers. All right. Why do we just find randomly shit like that? So we have fifty percent war assets. Ah, oh, so they're in other places. It says fifty percent though. Does that matter for everything? I, I just forget how the system works. So yeah, there's another one in here somewhere. I, I don't know what the range is though. My only question. 
I mean, this is slightly better than the other one, you know. Uh, Reaper alertness. Uh oh. Do you realize I have a, I have a Reaper alertness meter? And also, we seem to have less fuel than we used to. Signal confirmed. All right, let's have a look at this guy. Are we gonna do shit like this though? Dude, the mouse sensitivity is so wonky on that. Like I said, nothing. This is not as bad as in the last game. All right. What the hell? Wreckage. Oh, nice. We got some fuel. So this is no fuel depots anymore. All right. Well, let's check out this one then. Uh, all right. Uh, fuck, really? We have to do this? These two fuckers? God, this is probably why we should be doing the regular missions, just so we can get the regular people with us. Alright, well, we'll try out this loadout, we'll see how it goes. I uh, also have nine points, by the way. Uh, I was enjoying the memes of the, uh, the, the sticky grenades, though. But we probably, the smart thing to do would be to invest in some more ammo. But uh, I'm not very much about the smart thing to do, obviously. Grenade capacity by two increased. Yeah, dude, armor. Uh, we need capacity for grenades. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Doing my nav point. Oh, uh, pick up Reaper artifact. Hey guys, I think I see an assault trooper. Guys. Alright. What? Why would he fucking move? You know what? This is so fucked up though. Okay, and, uh, and now there's someone over there. Oh, there's someone over here too. Where are my allies actually? There's right actually a really good shotgun. One sec. Let's see, can we hit this guy from the sniper angle? Yeah. What the hell? Why is there why is there always people next to me? Get out of here. Oh, let's try the actually let's try the new uh the new rifle here. Fucking hell. Alright, what's this? the hell? What? What did that even do? Why does that have no aim at all? Is it just me or does this not have a zoom? Well, I can definitely tell that- okay, so... First off, this is a traveling projectile. That's the first problem. And second off, why is there no zoom on this? Is there some button I'm supposed to press to make it zoom in more? Also, do you notice how on the top left there's like another scope? Like a scope within a scope? Awesome. Uh. I can, I'm trying the mouse wheel out because I'm thinking maybe that's it. Is there like a button I press? Or is this right. just how? Is this that that that's just how it zooms? I, I don't know. I mean, usually I expect my snipers to have a bit of zoom to them, but you know, where's the Reaper artifact? Oh, right here. Oh, good. This is this is this is the good way of getting indoctrinated right now.
This is fucking pickup. That's weird looking. Guess we found it. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. I just I just don't know what I think about this thing. Why is this it? Meet you at the landing pad. Well, I mean, you've been there the entire time. Actually, there, you know what? There's some scopes and shit. Oh, so maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Maybe we're supposed to give this thing a scope. Alright, well, I mean, we, we don't want to leave yet. There's like an assload of things here. Because I, I don't know if it really... I don't think it applies anymore where if I don't pick up something, I, I, don't, I don't think I leave the mission with it anyways. I think because now they have the system where you can buy things on the ship, so... Wait, there's another Reaper artifact here. Oh, okay, so apparently the other Reaper... The, this is this is a smelly Reaper artifact. Yeah, there's another one right here. Integration successful. Suicide and capture orders are confirmed. Service is my friend to bay. Protect humanity at any cost. Alright. That sounds about right for Cerberus. Anything else up here? Will only lead to Metagel advances for Hannah. Only Cerberus would call that a failure. Nice. I call it a failure too. Fuck the Hannah. They've done nothing for society. What the fuck? Oh. This place is just dark. Either that or there's a lot of glare on my monitor. Oh, really? I'm supposed to go back for them? What the hell? Well, I can definitely tell that there's some... Oh, and I, I actually missed that headshot, but it kind of was nice to me. Or it's the auto-aim stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's try this gun again. What the hell? I wonder what the range on this is. Probably not that far. What the fuck are you doing? This guy had a plan. And was he planning something? Fuck you, I don't know. You get to plant anything. You know, the shotgun actually isn't half bad, but the only thing is that it's raising my, uh... My, uh... Actually, I do not have my disruptor ammo on. Which would help against things with shields, you know? Alright, where are we supposed to go? Ah, oh, this one. Right. Oh, you're not allowed to bypass until you get over here. What the hell? Do they have jetpacks? That's awesome, I want one. Why don't they make a Mass Effect game with jump packs so you can move, move, have high mobility move around? Fuck. These games are hard. Just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. Nothing like having your back to the war. Never said it would be easy. Alright, well, let's just get her to do that. I can just hit him in the legs or something. I wonder, does it. Maybe the Javelin Pierce, uh... I just noticed that these guys were here this entire time and they're unable to shoot me. Shotgun's actually not bad. It's pretty good. At least this one is. I mean, basically because this is another sniper rifle, let's be honest. This guy's combat roll, holy shit. This isn't over yet. I could do this all day! Thanks, James. Alright. Oh, you did it, Liar. Good job. Fuck. Alright, the thing... Well, you can kind of actually see the slug over there. Hopefully my eyes have my back here. What the hell? What? Okay. <laughs> I 
I'll be honest, I got way too used to. Just stay focused and keep that. I got way too used to Mass Effect 2's system for aiming on stuff. I actually kind of want to see what the projectile is that gets hit here. Well, it seems to hit like two things. It's kind of weird. I, I just want to know the sniperness of this uh, weapon. Okay, yeah, that, this likes hitting everything. Actually, let's try this weapon out now. Oh, I died. Whoops. Oh, rip. The minute that's a good that's a good sign. The minute I switched to this weapon, I died. All right. Yeah. Still want to try it out though. Honestly, the FOV is actually a really big problem for me. Credits pick up, nice. Buddy. Oh, he blew up because I think of the other guy. So this has actual imitation ammo limit. Oh, it oh it starts up. Oh, okay. What the fuck? All right. All right, this is actually not that good. Oops, uh, that was not the key to go into another piece of cover. Thanks. All right, we're gonna drop this uh, fucking thing like a rock. Honestly. I tried out the SMG, didn't like it. What are you gonna do? What, what? Oh, I maybe stepped into another grenade. I actually didn't see an indicator there, but I probably stepped into it. Well, we have an absolutely worthless uh, weapon with us, so it's good to know. The shotgun isn't bad. I just I, I I don't have any idea of the consistency of it, like the range and stuff. Okay. Well, apparently it's long range, so. That was the test right there. I just, it's hard to aim. Ah, oh, someone died over there. Wait, how did, why did you die over there, of all places? Well, I was gonna go fucking try and save him. Lara, I hope you have my back there. I feel like I get flanked a lot in this game, and also, did I- I felt someone over there- yeah, that's what I mean. I get flanked a lot in this game, I think. Alright. Oh, we learned an important lesson. Never straight from the harpoon gun. And this is all- this is also a good room to not get flanked at. Because, I don't know if you guys remember in Mass Effect uh, 2, they, the AI absolutely hated flanking you. And I, I made fun of it for that too, but they seem to have improved that as well, where the, the AI actually tries. I mean, they, all, they still take shitty cover though. This javelin isn't bad though. I think I missed, but I'm not sure. Also, I don't think I really need this concentration module, I won't lie. Okay, what? Fuck. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Because I definitely don't want to use the Mantis, but... A lot of shots that I feel I should be making are not being made. Oh, I'm maybe dead. Oh wait, no, it was over there. I thought it was behind, I thought it was over here. But for some reason I didn't take damage anyway, so it's all good.
Thanks, Lyra. I mean, it's sort of a fun weapon, but it's got some very distinct disadvantages. Mostly the fact it's a projectile. And now that thing hit the wrong person. Nice. Okay. Alright, I didn't see him, but he can sure see me. You'll make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. I see the major issues aiming that thing. Which is a good reason in itself not to use it. Fuck. They're all over the place. What is a man to do? Okay, well, it still choose awful cover. See a guy over there. What the hell? Fuck. It's hard to aim. Oh god. Well, we got tactical cloaks, so it's all good. Uh, that's one of our guys. Commander had to go dark side to shake him. Coming in hot. Be ready. Heading for extraction point now. Affirmative. Heading for extraction point, guys. Go. Oh, Liara's is here. Good. Oh, fucking hell. All right. Probably we should use one of the med kits. So maybe I'll do that. Defend extraction area. Oh, this guy. Fuck. We're at the extraction point. Ready for pickup. Almost there. What keeps hitting me? Got it. Yeah. Can they hit me from up here? No, there's there's glass here. You know, that's glass that's impenetrable. This one I have to aim a little bit ahead. I'm pretty sure, yeah, see? It's hitting him. Nope. Like that that one like it doesn't quite hit the crosshair. Like you see what I mean? It it it's hitting the the good good shit. Okay, can I go into the shuttle? I'm like mashing spacebar and I'm holy fucking shit. <laughs> There's like three grenades that go off. Alright. Uh, I tried something new and didn't like it. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Oh god, every time we have to actually just walk back. Uh is the worst shit ever. Well, let me just walk over there and we can end the episode. Alright guys. I think we're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. Fuck, no. I, I have tactical mastery. Yeah, we're going. Bye, guys.